<clears throat> Good morning again. Thanks for sharing your plan. Now I'm lazy. I opened it in X12. Not in. I have a trial copy of uh, Home Designer Pro 2021, but I can get things done faster and cheap. But what I thought I would do. Let's see, what is that? That must be a terrain feature. Let me see. Terrain feature. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, uh, since I'm spoiled with Chief Architect X12, I'm going to turn off the grid, which I don't never use. And I'm going to go up here to layer display options. And see, in, in Chief Architect, we've got uh, sets of layers, which you can pick. And what I want to do is go to all layers off. But I'm, in that set, I'm going to turn terrain stuff on because I want to inspect the uh, I, I'm not looking for a Eureka here but uh, I'm going to take a look whereas I didn't look before I just inspected it with a camera view and then oh um, I didn't find anything wrong I'm going to turn on <coughs> <coughs> terrain perimeter and elevation data only that's all I want to see in this view okay so I can inspect what you did. Now, these objects here off the edge, I, I assume this is the terrain plane. Let me see if it is. Yeah. These objects are, as we say in Texas, cacarela. <laughs> and, uh, or the, now, these things here, these, I never use these, these points. Unless you have an all offset, you can't find them after you place them. So yeah, you got that set two inches, and that's the elevation you got, 21. And maybe it's right, maybe it's not. But these are okay. I just don't like <coughs> Excuse me. They, they modulate the terrain in a concentric circle way, which I don't particularly like. This must be a flat region. Elevation region, yeah, that's fine. Here's a elevation object, 15 inches. See, what have we got here? That's set at 15. This is set at 21. And what's this set at? 21. The reason I deleted these that are if they're not inside the terrain perimeter, they have no effect on the terrain perimeter. Okay. Now, this looked like the house. Let me turn the reference display on so I can see the sucker. Yeah, that's the garage. <coughs> so you got a flat region right here. I have no idea why. And these modulation points here, so usually right at the house, you want it flat. Usually, <clears throat> you got this, uh, this appears to be a flat region. Let's take a look at it at 11 inches and it's an L, yeah. But you don't have the interior flat, why I don't know. Minus 24 and this is what? Minus 11. Okay, what you need to under understand about elevation objects, <coughs> go here to the blank screen. Let's say this is an eleva elevation object and it's set to zero. And then you, there's another elevation object over here and it's set to positive 21 or minus 21. We have to have at least two values to operate with terrain. And what's going to create <coughs> Same, we're looking at this in cross section now. It's going to create a gradient <clears throat> between zero and the value that you set. Now, that's a positive 24, let's say, or put, if you put in a negative 24. That's what the terrain done does, basically. And so you, you want to create your object so that the terrain flows from one object to the next. You put them too close together. See, like this one's crossing this one. Let's see what the value is set on this one. 
that's at nine inches and minus 24 inches. No, 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 no. You can't have them cross like that. That drives the software nuts because this is a conundrum. I'm gonna take this and just move it out of the way. So this is a little space between this one and this one and this one and this one. See what this is. Six inches. Nine inches. So there's, there's a little dip here. Okay. So I don't see anything radically. Let me turn the reference display back off. Unless I've missed something. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? I didn't see that before. Polyline. Well, it's just a polyline. You got probably got turned on but when I turned on CAD default. Let me turn CAD default back on. <coughs> Yeah, it was on CAD default, which has no effect on, oh, that's interesting. You got this value here, 22, and this value here at 20, okay. They're not that different, but they cannot cross each other. No, not ever, not never. You have to separate them at least a little bit. And these are real close together. I hope they're the same value, that's 18. Minus 20, 18 and minus 24. That's going to create some weird looking terrain. Minus 24, and this is my, minus 24. Now, why are you putting this right around the garage? I don't know. But you got to move this one away from those minus value things. You, you have to do, you have to have, give it some space to it. See, this one has a minus 24. And this one is basically just a continuation of that one. They have the same value, so that's no big deal. So you got to set, let's see, what is this? That's 22, and what's this? 18. You got to separate these. Can't have them right next to each other. Based on what I told you earlier about how terrain works, you got to have a little space to create a gradient change from here to here. Okay, you got a point here and a point here. Why on earth? I have no idea. That's 12 inches. And this is minus 24 right next to it. Stupid. You're not stupid. It was just a stupid choice. Okay. Minus 24. What is this point over here? 14. See, the terrain's going to go whoop, way down here. To, come on, knock it off. You don't need this one. Get rid of it. This one. The train will go from here to here and here to here in, in terms of our eyes. <clears throat> so my advice generally is don't use these freaking points. These points are off the terrain and don't need to be there. What's the value of that one? 29. See, what, I, what, <clears throat> what I use and what most uh, topographical maps use our uh, terrain, elevation data, splines. So you draw a spline and then another one, and, in there, and you can adjust them to fit the topographic maps that, that are around. And then it has a dialog box, that, which you can set the value. Now, I just stuck that there to show you. I'm not, I'm not gonna leave it there because it probably screwed things up. <clears throat> now I'm going to change the uh, layer set back to uh, not all layers on, but uh, working layers. There it is. And we'll take a look and see in a new unit deck the oh deck is over a non deck room. Oh, okay. You must have. See, with all this, all these layers on, it's hard to see what's going on. Let's see, there's a porch. No, that, that can't be it. <clears throat> Here's the deck. It's saying it's over a non. Oh, okay. You must have built a room down here. Let me see. I don't see a. <clears throat> there's no. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the room. The deck is over this room, which is part of the foundation. That's what it's yapping about. Well, 
that's that's yours to fix or you can just deal from now until the end of the time uh with the uh, error messages uh you can name this deck balcony and and then it would stop saying that but that's that's up to you that's a designer choice let's take a look i'm going to go to camera tools and go to that overview like i said full overview i don't know what this warning message is about but uh, we'll read it once it deck oh thank you so much i needed to know that see flat as a piece of paper flat I know you've got some modulating data in there. It's probably modulating some, but my, or maybe it's not modulating anymore because I separated out some of those values. Okay, yeah, here we go. A little, it's a little hard to see with a standard camera. Let's go to a vector view camera and turn the color off. Okay, you can see some modulation here and some kind of modulation there. Uh, I don't know what that line is, but it's probably shows the terrain tapering, but it's not crazy like you're showing in your image. You see that? I don't think it's it was flat before, Hey, okay, it's a little curved up here in the front because of the values you put up there. Uh, these may be terrain features, I'm not sure. Okay, that's the edge of a terrain feature. This is overlapping terrain features. Oh, I don't, you don't need to, it's not a, a crime to overlap them, but it just, in vector view, which, which hardly anybody ever uses. <laughs> there must just be, yeah, there's the edge of the, uh, terrain feature and it, it maps into another terrain feature okay that explains that let's turn the color back on and we'll go change the camera type come on computer there we go I need a new computer this sucks this, <laughs> oops I almost said a no-no uh, this fellow is kind of slow So, see what I'm talking about? Everything's, I mean, I separated it out a little bit and that should allow it to flow. If you got overlapping values, it's not gonna flow. It's gonna look like bizarre world. <clears throat> I guess while I'm doing this, now this is, I downloaded this one uh, just, just now this morning. I deleted the other one that was there. Let's see, I, I'm going to click on, oh, wait a minute, I didn't want to go over here to, I'm going to delete this and open your original one that I haven't messed with. I just looked at it. Okay, and now I'm going to go to here. And, let's, oh, you, I need the one that, oh, they're all the same. Wait a minute. Wait, no, that's... That's something else. We'll have to have the same dates on there. Well, I didn't save it, so the... Hmm. Date deleted. Yeah, that's true. Let's see. Date modified. So, okay, here's the, all right, I found it. So this one I'm gonna put back. Okay. I wanna make sure that it's there. Yeah, okay, it's there. This is the one that I didn't edit. <clears throat> See, I did in this file. I didn't make any changes to the terrain. 
this is the one I was saying I didn't see anything. I'm going to open the uh, full overview camera and we'll just look around and see, well, maybe I have myopia or something. Who knows? We'll take a, a look in a new unit at a time with the unedited. Yeah, I was looking for stuff at these edges like you were showing in the, uh, I don't see anything like you showed. Nothing. Straight as a string, straight as, yeah, this one just doesn't even show. I guess we could change to, um, well, this is where you have these uh, values in your terrain objects crossing and so forth, but it's still as white as a piece of paper in mine. On your computer, it's not. Now, why that is? I can't explain that. Okay, we've got a little bit of rippling here. But the main thing is just don't cross your values and give them a little space between the, the value changes so that the software can create a gradient between them, okay? Now, this is what I saw the other day, which is basically a nothing burger. Okay? Hope this helps you. Uh, I don't see how it can, but <laughs> maybe it will. In any case, have a great day.